everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it is, what time is it? It is like 20 to 11 at night and I decided I'm gonna film a Snapchat q and I went to an event earlier and I just didn't wanna waste the makeup. So yeah, and it's been like ages since I last did a Snapchat Q&A video. So I thought, why not do it? I have a feeling it's gonna be a bit of a long one, so maybe pause this video right here, right now, grab yourself a snack, something to drink, um, get snuggled up, just kick back and enjoy. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the bottom. Oh, last time I did this, Snapchat decided to delete half of your lot's um, snaps, and I, like, it was so, so deeply upsetting. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen this time. And yeah, I'm just gonna go from the bottom, whoever snapped me last. So the first one is Janky Chowan. And she sent me this picture. She said, how have you dealt with bad breakups in the past? Love you, girl. You are life. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> Uh, I never really speak about stuff like this, but the advice that I would give to someone else, I literally was just with a friend who's just had a nasty um, breakup and was feeling really, really down. Um, and the best thing that I could say was, see it as a positive. Um, you know, this is the time, everything happens for a reason and this is the time to discover yourself, do things for you, do you and do what makes you happy, whether it is, um, you know, going to get your hair done, going to get a tattoo, piercing, or just doing anything that makes you feel good. If you have somewhere that's your happy place, like your happy place, go there, like somewhere that makes you feel a bit lighter about the situation. Um, yeah, just take it in your stride as an opportunity for you to be able to do what you wanna do without having to think about someone else. Sometimes it is really a good thing. So yeah, just enjoy it and someone else will come along. Okay, this is Simi Heron, and this is just a message. Question, what are the perks of being a YouTuber, and can you do a makeup stash video with opinions? A makeup stash video with opinions, interesting. Yeah, sure. Um, what are the perks of being a YouTuber? The perks of being a YouTuber um, are the fact that you get to interact with people all over the world and make friends with people from everywhere. Like you guys, for example, like we may not see each other, like I may not see you, sorry, or we may not see each other in person, but I know like that we have a deep connection like when there there are some of you guys like trust me I know your names I know who you are you'll always message me or, or I'll always see your comment and I just know that you know this person really cares for me or yeah it's just it's crazy so that's a perk and also obviously all the things that you get sent all the products the kind of events you get to go to um, just cool experiences that I probably wouldn't have got if I didn't do YouTube. Next, it's Karen Veer and, oh, what is your favorite makeup look on an occasion? It's just a really dark, smoky eye. I love a dark, smoky eye, not winged out, just dark around the lash line um, and a nude lip. Ah, uh, it just goes with everything. Okay, Son Punzel. <laughs> if I say your name wrong, then I'm sorry. Um, how many lipsticks is acceptable to take on holiday? and your travel must-haves. How many lips, lipsticks? I would say it depends how long you're going for, but I would kind of look at what your outfits you've got and kind of pair a lipstick with that. And sometimes, yes, of course, you want other options. I would take, I normally take about five to eight. <laughs> um, and my travel must-haves are SPF, bronzer, and mascara, and brows. God, everything, God damn, on holiday I was, full coverage all day, every day. So yeah, that's just me. <laughs> Grace Greaves, want to get my best friend a high-end eyeliner. Do you have any suggestions? The cute little doggy filter. The new Lancome winged liner um, is really, really good. I really like it. Um, I showed you guys it on my Snapchat a, a little while ago, but yeah, it comes in and you can kind of bend. It's like a pointy thing packaging, the packaging is pointing where you hold it from, but you can bend it, it's really weird, I'm explaining it awfully, but the Lancome one is actually really nice. SB8029, have you got a name, girl? Um, they sent me a message, so 
so I will just read that. Hello, when is your birthday? You mentioned in your blog it's this month. It is this month! Um, it's my birthday at the end of this month on the 30th of August and I'm going to be 25 years old. Beauty for Beauties sent me a picture. What's your all-time favourite makeup product? Love your channel by the way. Thank you so much. Um, my all-time favourite makeup product. Whew, that is hard. Um, probably concealer. I love concealer. Um, maybe like Kevin Aquan because it just hides everything instantly. It's so good. I've got quite a few messages so I'm not going to hold my phone up but I'll just read them. So Niam, Niam, Niam Ho dot L, I'm sorry, wrote, ah yay, Snapchat q and I'm trying, I'm training to be a bridal and editorial makeup artist, then pro progressing to pro MUA, but what do you recommend for someone starting out for their kit? My tutor recommended really pricey oils, foundations and primers and I haven't had any work, so no money. Thank you and sorry if my name was difficult to say, Irish problems. Oh, so your name's Neve then. Okay, cool, got it. <laughs> Thanks for dropping the hint. Um, I would recommend NYX if you are starting out and you don't have a lot of money. NYX is such a good brand because the makeup feels really high end and high quality. And if you're doing editorial as well as bridal, there's so many colors in their range as well. So I would look at NYX for a drugstore brand. Um, also brands like Colourpop because they're also very, very affordable. So yeah, brands like that. Raksha S wrote, is your last name Cedar Indian? Um, yes, it is Indian. I am Indian. Fahima9 wrote, I've just recently discovered you through your EX1 foundation video and I've got to say, why haven't I discovered you before? Girl, why didn't you? I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm so glad you did. Welcome. Um, for your Snapchat Q&A, would you do a meetup in Hounslow, please? Ah! I actually live five, ten minutes away from Hounslow um, and if I was to do a meetup, no, I wouldn't do it in Hounslow, babes. I never, ever, ever, the only time I'm in my area is if I'm at home and I'm not home that often. So yeah, I, I don't really do anything in this area. So no, you'd probably have to travel into central London. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ainsley underscore G wrote, who are your favorite Bollywood actors? Love you, love you too. Um, I don't really watch Bollywood movies in all honesty, but I do know some actors and if I had to pick, uh, Deepika Padukone because she's just gorgeous. I just love her style. I don't really watch her for her films or acting or whatever. I just follow her on Instagram because I just think she's gorgeous. Um, and Shah Rukh Khan's like an old time, like classic. If I have seen Bollywood movies, it's because he's been in them. And yeah. Fatima Ismail has said, can you tell us your favorite ever high-end product? One from each category. I think I'd be here forever if I did that, but if you do want to know, I know this is a bit of a cop out, but my best product of 2015 video that I did in December basically has all of my favorite high end and low end products in every single category. So if that helps, maybe watch that. Vaishi XOXO wrote, how would you describe your style as love you, love you? Oh, this is a good question. I would describe my style as flexible. <laughs> I dress different every single day. I, it's not like everything in my wardrobe is kind of has the same theme. I like to mix it up. Sometimes I like to dress like a tomboy. Um, sometimes I like to dress girly. And when I do, I am a little bit uncomfortable. Um, I'd like to say that Sometimes I'd like to dress a little bit edgy. I'd, I'd say I've got quite an urban flair to my dress sense. Um, yeah. Yugoda wrote, and she said, well, no, sorry, she sent me a video. And if you guys don't know who Yugoda is, you need to follow her. Okay, so my question for Anchao is, how much do you love me? you loads babes and I was in the background I didn't even know you were filming <laughs> oh my god I love you loads T-I-X-N-H-I-R-X 
Tina, I'm guessing? I don't know. Um, hi, saw your story. My question is what made you want to start makeup and what age were you when you started collecting or getting into it. I was doing a nursing course at uni and I was just in my first year. I met a girl that did makeup, not like professionally, she just put on eyeshadow. And for me that was really different and I was never really into makeup that much and I just liked it. Um, and then I was on the ward one day and everyone like, th th all the nurses, I have a lot of respect for nurses, but no one took care of themselves and I can understand why. And I just looked around and looked at them and I was just like, no, like I, I could do this now, but I can't see myself doing this when I'm 40 or however long. And my mum is this gorgeous, glamorous lady who still has her nails done nicely, always just always looks nice and looks after herself. And I want to kind of look like that when I'm my mum's age. So yeah, it was weird. I was on the ward, I was looking around and I was like, no, I can't do this. So I just had an epiphany and I was like, right, I'm gonna do makeup. And that's how I am where I am today. Simran Core 15, hey Anshul, will you be taking any bookings for summer 2015? 2015? Or maybe I didn't read that right. For summer 2017, love your videos. Thank you. Yes, I am taking bookings for summer 2017. I'm taking bookings for all year, next year, and I'm taking bookings for from now till whenever. So if you want to inquire about any freelance makeup bookings, then yeah, then make sure you do. Um, my email address is down below in the description box, but it's info at .com and yeah, just email me and I will get back to you and let you know if I'm available. G Fernandez said, Hi Anshul, I'm having the worst time finding the perfect flesh tone nude lipstick slash gloss. I have medium deep Asian skin. What would you recommend? P.S. I love you. I love you. If you're gonna wear a flesh tone lipstick and you've got a medium deep Asian skin, I would highly recommend wearing a warmer lip line, liner, sorry, to warm it up because if you go in straight with a flesh tone lipstick and then warm skin, you're gonna wash your face out and you'll look like a zombie. So you need to separate your lips from your face and you can totally wear a flesh tone lipstick but you just need a bit of a warmer lip line to go around with it. I'd maybe recommend Honey Love Lipstick by MAC, which is a great flesh tone lipstick for medium, like deep Asian skins. It's one of my favorites, and I always wear it with Well Lip Liner from MAC or um, Iconic Nude by Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, Maz, fave foundation ever. P.S. You're gorgeous. Keep up with the good work. Much love. Thank you. Um, my favorite foundation ever has got to be Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation. Jeannie09 wrote, can you please show your piercings? They look amazing and you're so gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah, I can show you my piercings. So I'm not gonna show you the one in my belly button because that's not cute or attractive and I'm wearing a bodysuit. I'm not about to whip my belly button out. But in terms of my piercings, I have one here on my tragus, then I have two in my forward helix. So I've got a little hoop, uh, like a horseshoe hoop here, and then I've just got a small Damonte one like above that on this ear. And then on this ear, oh, and of course just normal piercings here. And then on this ear I have my tragus again, and I have just on the sides of my ears, I have got two here. So I've got one hoop at, at the top, and then I've just got a bar right beneath it and they're just plain silver jewelry that um, I got when they were piercing it and I just, I actually quite like it so I've left it in there like that. Oh and of course my nose ring which I've had since I was 15 so that's all of them. This is a big one so saved it till the very end. Okay, who is your makeup guru or inspiration? Um, I, I'm trying to think who my makeup guru is. I don't think I do. I don't think I have a makeup guru, but who inspires me? Literally everyone that does makeup, everyone that does YouTube, everyone's kind of got their own technique and flair and it is inspiring to see how everyone does everything so differently or what looks other people come up with. Um, so yeah, but I can't put my finger on a particular person. 
If this was your last day of life, what would you do and how would you spend it? If this was my last day of life, I'd probably want to spend it with my family. Oh, this is a deep question. Um, and I'd probably want to do something really fun. I just want to go somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. That's a scary question. Would you start daily vlogging? Um, maybe eventually I might start daily vlogging, but I find that sometimes my days aren't that interesting, so I don't vlog. Um, but yeah, maybe in the future I could do. I'd be happy to do that. Would you ever want to start your own makeup brand or collection? Yes, yes, and yes. Um, would you consider yourself as a loved or hated person? Um, I would say, and I'm gonna be completely and utterly honest with you guys because I am. I would say I am quite a loved person, but at the same time, I'm not a hated person, but I tend to find that people, and I don't know why, and it genuinely upsets me and bothers me, but people find me, not people that like you guys, but it's like people that actually know me, like people that see me day to day, they might find me like intimidating and I've heard that before. And I don't find that I am intimidating. The feedback that I have received from friends and friends of friends and things like that is that it's because I am such a confident person. It's not because I've like worked myself up to this, I literally was born this way. I genuinely, all my life, I take after my dad, as you saw from my dad does my makeup video. My dad's a confident guy, it's not an act. He just like, yeah, I can just walk into somewhere and talk to people and I think other people find that intimidating sometimes and I don't mean to come across that way whatsoever, but yeah. I don't know and it's just, it's really upsetting because I come with such good intentions but other people are like, whoa, and so I don't know. I don't know what to do, but what can you do? Final question from Karen Veer is, would you ever do a meet and greet? Yes, I would love to do a meet and greet. I've been meaning to do one like forever. Um, so yeah, I think I probably will do one at some point, hopefully soon, but yeah. I just wanna know if there's like enough people that would come and meet me and if London would be an okay location. <laughs> oh guys, I've got a few more, sorry. When's your birthday? From Aisha Hack. Um, my birthday's on 30th of August. Her, she wrote, what are some of your tips to staying healthy and fit as a busy girl? <laughs> Would love to see a video on it if you have the time. Love your channel. Um, healthy and fit, girl, I'm not that healthy and fit. No, I do like to try and live a healthy lifestyle. Um, my, my tips would be to eat well. Food makes such a huge difference. Eat right, eat three meal, meals a day and a couple snacks in between and you're good to go. <laughs> and yeah, and if you can exercise, try and fit in like at least two or three workouts a week and you, you'll be good. Okay, so I literally just turned off all my lights, camera, everything, and then I got another snap. So I'm gonna, and it's my girl Twee, so I, I just had to, I had to turn it on. So here we go. Hey, Aunt Jo, I love your videos. I've got two questions for you. Where do you see yourself in five years time and what tips do you have for an upcoming YouTuber? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, thank you, honey. Um, if, guys, if you're not following Twee, you need to. I'll also link her down below. Um, she's freaking amazing. Um, but yeah, so where do I see myself in five years time? I see myself being my own boss and well, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. But like, I see myself being really comfortable in what I do, because right now I'm just like, oh, like I'm really scared and I'm just trying things out and hoping for the best. But I'm hoping in five years time, I know what I'm doing. I'd love to get into TV presenting. If I could be a presenter in five years time, then I'm set. Um, so that, um, and, any tips for an upcoming YouTuber? Um, be consistent with your videos. Um, don't just do them here and there. I found that when I did them consistently or when I do them consistently, you just, yeah, it just pays off a lot more. And um, yeah, like find your own kind of niche, find what you're good at and really go in on that. So don't, yes, of course, experiment and do this and do that and do this and do that. But if there's something that you're really, really good at, 
keep doing it because that's what people have followed you for and that's what they want to see more of so yeah if you can expand on that one thing that you're really good at then that is perfect um and yeah if you guys need any more tips um on upcoming youtubers and things like that then holla at your girl comment down below and i will get back to you thank you so much for your questions this has been so much fun let me know if you'd like for me to do another q a whether it's from my instagram or another snapchat q a or yeah just let me know if you want me to do anything else like this make sure you're following me on snapchat if, if you're not already i'll leave it down below and um, also follow me on instagram twitter all of that good stuff and yeah thank you so much for watching subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all in my next video Mwah. bye